वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश फोर फाइव सो स्टेटमेंट इज अ शॉर्ट लिंक एट बी इज यूज टू कनेक्ट बीम्स ए बी एंड बी सी टू फॉर्म अ कंपाउंड बीम एज शोन ड्रॉ द शेयर एंड मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर द बीम इफ द सपोर्ट्स एट ए एंड बी आर कंसिडर्ड फिक्स एंड पिन रिस्पेक्टिवली सो यू कैन सी दिस इज बीम ए बी एंड दिस इज बीम बी सी दैट आर कनेक्टेड टूगेदर एट लिंक बी clear to form a compound beam so all the loading is given from this point a to b there is a uniformly in increasing load of 3 kN per meter at this point you have a 15 kN point loads and this c and point a are fixed and pin support so you have to draw the shear and moment diagram for the beam so let's start with the solution so as we know that if we remove this supports at point a and b so we will be having a reaction force cy and we have a moment that is uh, a reaction force ay and there will be a moment ma so in order to find this uh, beams we will analyze equation of equilibrium and we will take separate seg segment bc and segment ab in order to find this reaction forces so let's move as we know that as it is compound beam it is compound beam so we will so we will analyze beam ab and bc separately for finding or finding reaction forces and moment so what we will do is that first we will take segment bc clear so you can see this is the segment bc we will draw it and we will draw the free body diagram so if i draw the segment bc it will be like this this is your point b this is your point c and when you rem remove this pin this link clear so you will be having a reaction force at b which is represented as fb at the mid of this beam we will we are having 15 kN load clear and when you remove the pin support at c so you will be having a reaction force which is represented as cy the distance between this and this is 1.5 meter and this is also 1.5 meter now we will apply equilibrium condition the first equilibrium condition will be that sum of all moment about point c is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point c one moment is due to 15 kN load and this perpendicular distance this is producing counter clockwise so it will be positive the second moment will be fb into perpendicular distance is 3 and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative but their sum must be equal to 0 so 15 multiplied by 1.5 minus fb into 3 is equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get fb will be equal to 7.5 kilo newton now we will find cy by using another equilibrium condition and that will be sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and taking the upward force as positive so fb plus cy minus 15 will be equal to 0 so fb is 7.5 minus 15 plus cy is equal to 0 and from here you will get this cy will be equal to 7.5 kilo newton so you have find this cy and fb now we'll find the reaction at point a and moment so we will take the segment ab 
so for segment a b we will draw the free body diagram so if i draw the segment a b let this is the segment a b this is point a and this is point b so you can see that moving from a to b there is a uniformly increasing load so let if i draw it like this here this you have a load of 3 kilo newton per meter distance between a and b is 4.5 meter clear and you can see that at b we have taken the reaction force upwards so in link in beam a b it will be downward to keep it in equilibrium so we will also represent here f b downward clear i will f b downward at a you will be having a reaction force which will be taken as upward so this is a y and there will be a moment m a as well because you can see you have a fixed support so if you remove it you will be having a reaction force and there will be a moment now what we will do is that if you convert this uniformly increasing load into a point load so it will be equal to 1 over 2 3 into total length which is 4.5 and that will be acting at a length of L by 3 from this denser side so L by 3 L is 4.5 so 4.5 divided by 3 is 1.5 meter and this remaining distance will also equal to 3 meter okay now we will apply equilibrium condition so what is the equilibrium condition the first equilibrium condition is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and force upward taken as positive so we have one force a y the second force minus f b because it is downward and minus this value will be equal to zero so i will write a y minus 1 over 2 into 3 into 4.5 minus fb fb is 7.5 is equal to 0 so from here you will get ay is equal to 14.25 kilo newton okay so we will now move to find this MA. So for that we will apply equilibrium condition that sum of all movements about point A is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive. So about point A one movement is this reaction movement. The other movement will be this force into perpendicular distance is three and this is producing clockwise. So it will be negative. The third one is FB into perpendicular distance is 4.5 and this is also clockwise so it will be negative so i will write m a minus 1 over 2 3 into 4.5 multiply by 3 minus f b which is 7.5 into perpendicular distance is 4.5 your sum must be equal to 0 so when you solve it you will get m a is 54 kilo newton into meter now you have all the reaction forces and movement so you can just move and draw the shear force and bending movement diagram so again for shear force and bending movement diagram what we will do is that we will take the vertical lines from the end of the beam here and first we will draw the shear force so if i take this line horizontal line in order to show the length x is in meter so this point where we have 4.5 meter clear here we have 6 and this point is 7.5 meter okay so v in kilo newtons clear let each division over here is let this division is uh, 7 7 14 so plus 7 14 21 you can take it as per your convenience 
ओके सो लेट प्लॉट दिस फर्स्ट पॉइंट एट दिस पॉइंट ए वी है वी नो दैट वी हैव अ रिएक्शन फोर्स विच इज ए वाई एंड ए वाई इज फोर्टीन पॉइंट टू फाइव सो वट फर्स्ट पॉइंट विल बी समवेयर हेयर क्लियर नाउ एट पॉइंट बी एट दिस पॉइंट वी विल हैव अ लोड विच विल बी इक्वल टू फोर्टीन पॉइंट टू फाइव माइनस वन ओवर टू थ्री इंटू फोर पॉइंट फाइव एंड दैट विल गिव यू सेवन पॉइंट फाइव सो वील प्लाट द सेकेंड पॉइंट यू विल बी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव विच विल बी दिस वन क्लियर सो यू कैन सी दैट दिस लोड इज यूनिफॉर्मली इंक्रीजिंग लोड एंड दैट इज डाउनवर्ड सो यूर शेयर फोर्स विल बी वन डिग्री हायर एंड इट विल बी सेकेंड डिग्री कार एंड क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन सो वी विल जॉइन दीज टू पॉइंट्स नॉट इन ए स्ट्रेट लाइन बट इट शुड बी इन कर ओके नाउ मूविंग फ्रॉम पॉइंट बी टिल दिस पॉइंट देर इज नो लोड सो इट विल बी रिमेन सेम हॉरिजेंटल सो द शेयर फोर्स विल बी रिमेन हॉरिजेंटल टिल दिस पॉइंट नाउ एट दिस पॉइंट यू कैन सी यू हैव अ लोड ऑफ माइनस फिफ्टीन सो सेवन दिस पॉइंट इज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव माइनस फिफ्टीन विल ब्रिंग इट टू माइनस सेवन पॉइंट फाइव सो विच विल बी दिस पॉइंट शेयर फोर्स विल चेंज टू माइनस सेवन पॉइंट फाइव किलो न्यूटन एंड मूविंग फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू सी देर इज नो अदर लोड सो शेयर फोर्स विल रिमेन हॉरिजेंटल एंड टिल द एंड एंड एट द एंड यू कैन सी यू हैव अ सी वाई which is equal to 7.5 so minus 7.5 plus 7.5 will bring it to zero so this is your shear force diagram now we will draw the bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram again i will take a horizontal line x in meter clear this point is your 4.5 and this is your Six, and that is seven point five meter. Moment in kilo newton into meter. So let each division is equal to twenty five twenty five. Or twenty 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 minus twenty minus forty minus sixty. Similarly, twenty plus forty. so at point a you can see you have a reaction moment which is ma that is 54 kilo newton as this is in you can see this is in counter clockwise moment so while drawing the moment diagram it will cause the moment to go downward in negative direction so our first point will be minus 54 so let's say this is 54 first point will be this one minus 54 now at point b you can see there is a link which connect this a and b so at this point the moment will be zero so this this will be the your second point and you can see that shear force is curve so bending moment will be 1 degree higher and it will be also like this it will be like not straight line again it will be a curve type line okay it should be like this okay clear and you can see that area under this shear force diagram this area is 7.5 multiply by 1.5 which is the width so it is equal to 11.25 so we will plot 11.25 so let 11.25 is somewhere here and you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with 0 degree slope so moment will be 1 degree higher and it will be a straight line so this is 11.25 
now this area is again this area is minus 11.25 so movement at this point will be equal to 11.25 minus 11.25 which will bring it to zero and we will get the movement will be like this so we will draw it using a straight line clear and this is the movement diagram this is shear force diagram and this is bending movement diagram and this was all about problem 6-45 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon clear so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching